Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and we are on the much delayed um, OC Go kind of follow up. I've had a bunch of people ask me some questions. Again, it's not that I didn't record it. I tried to record this thing like eight times and the audio was having a problem. The video was having a problem, all this other stuff. So we're going to attempt it again. I'm going to try and knock out as many questions as I possibly can. But honestly, the main thing has just been um, how to do this as a church setup. So I have a bunch of stuff set up. I actually got an X32 on the floor right here in front of me, but I don't want to pull that whole thing out. So we're going to use the DJI Mic 2 as our input. Um, works the exact same way. Um, and where's oh, and my other cable is right here in front of me. We would connect this the exact same way to a mixer using um, the 3.5 out to quarter inch. This is a female dual XLR. Any one of those RCA to 3.5, any one of these. Um, I literally would have done it, but it takes up the entire space right here if I was using that. So let's go ahead and just show you the setup that I got here. So let me move my joystick here so y'all can see everything. So as you can see, I have the monitor right here in front of me as my multi-view. I have my laptop running presenter right now. Any presentation software will work. We have the OC Go. So the only thing I have connected right now is the my EV, um, EV10 right now, my Sony camera, and the laptop. That's all I have set up. And let's switch this over so that y'all can actually see let me move my mouse over here so you can actually see the screen. All right, so as you can see, that's what we got. And let's go ahead and bring up a presentation so we can actually see what is going on. So, and why is, oh, <laughs> my slider was halfway through. That's why it was showing like that. All right, so we got everything going. And let's turn on the audio. Like I said, I have my mic. DJI mic here. Let's turn that on. And that way we can get some audio coming in here. So let me back out of here. The menu settings, our mic input. We're actually going to change this to a mic because that's what I have plugged in. And let's go to our audio mixer. That's on, off. We want to make sure that's off. So as you can see, we're getting audio coming in here from this mic. And I don't want to have multiple mics. I don't know if they would conflict with each other. So I'm just going to have this one here on the floor, but we'll bring it when we need to. All right. So the first thing is people want to know, how do we do the lower thirds? So first, in your presentation software, um, I have a video going over that. We're just going to do our lower third. I'm going to try this two ways, one with a completely no background, transparent background or with a chroma key. So I am going to duplicate my scripture here. I'm going to get rid of my background. Again, y'all can't see this. This is what I'm doing on my laptop. I am changing the layout to be a lower third. And when I bring it up, that's what you see now. That's what I have going on. So how do we bring this over? So the first thing, and again, I am doing a massive refresher because I have not touched this system in quite a while, but we typically go through a DSK downstream keyer. So what is our source? We're using N number two. So it's still set up the same way that we normally would do. And that's it. So we should only need to activate the DSK here, the DSK button on here. And there we go. Really straightforward. I didn't really even change anything. Um, if I switch back so you can see the top down view, all I did was turn on the on air of our DSK. So that's the only button I'm pressing right there. So if we switch back for you to see, that is what's doing my on and off. That's it. Um, that's using downstream key, which is just going to remove, we say remove the black, but really all it is is sending transparency and anything that is not 
white in the text that's coming through your presentation software sends it over. That's straightforward. Now let's do this again. I'm going to duplicate this again and see if I can put nothing but a solid green background and I don't have anything. So we got to actually make something. So let's go ahead to paint real quick. So now if we launch it, you see it does this. This is not what we want to do, but let's see what we can go through the menus to see if we can do that. So we're going to go back to our menu. This is going to be a chroma key. And because that's what we're getting rid of the green, our source is going to be input number two. Go back. Our mask, we're not going to put on there. We're not going to resize it. And I think that is it. Now, I think we have to sync, sync it to a button as well, too. Settings. Now, again, forgive me because I have not messed with this in a minute. And this is still on the exact firmware I had when I was actually testing this originally. So the latest firmware that actually gives um, NDI functionality, I do not have. And I will need to go back and do that at a later time. Probably do a follow up video for that. And I'm really just trying to find where the control is to turn that on. There it goes, key type. All right, we set it to chroma key. So now, if we turn that on, see it does that. So we're going to have to dial that in because. I mean, it's obviously getting rid of the color, but you're not seeing me in there. So let's go back. Let's go to our chroma key. Source, mask. We're not doing that resize control. Let's do a sample. All right, so it's got the color. Now let's back out. Let's do it again. See, it's still... still messing with us. So let's turn it back on and we just got to play around with this just like we would have to do with any other thing. Let's go to control. There it goes. I still had sample on. So there we go. So it sampled the color to see what it needs to remove. It grabbed it and there you go. So looks pretty good. Pretty good. So we did lower thirds using DSK. We did lower thirds doing um, chroma key and honestly except for the menus being a little bit different it's the same way that you would use it with obs any streaming software or any other video switcher so really straightforward and what i'm going to do is after we get this done i'm actually going to go and make sure we um, update this to the latest version and we'll do some other stuff so Again, sorry for the delay. We've been really busy doing a bunch of other stuff, but there we go. I'm also going to work on um, getting the firmware for this and see what other features and we'll do a refresh. But let me know the simple setup. So we got it set up for we can bring in audio that I was already using that I didn't even sample. But I mean, we got it right here. Let's switch over real quick. So, I mean, we if I turned it on, actually, AJ. All right, so as you can see, we got our audio coming through here, so that's fine. We can turn the key back on. Boom, we got our lower thirds. If I go through here on my presentation software, you know, this one right now was actually sending nothing but straight um, green as the background. We can turn that off. We can go back to my other scene where it was no background at all. And... See, if I did the key, it doesn't work because it's looking for green. But if I turn on the DSK, 
we can still have the same option. So we got chroma key and DSK, and we got our audio going through. And I don't know why inputs one and two are on. We don't need those. Uh, so input one off, input two off. So the only thing that's coming in is the mic. And I did change it to mic. We did that earlier. So there you go, folks. Um, I hope that helps. And again, my apologies on the delay. Let me know if you have any other questions. Again, we've been doing a lot of installs, so it kind of has limited my time to sit down here and do tutorial videos, but I am taking next month off so that I'm not bouncing around climbing in any attics or anything like that. So we'll be working, finishing up the book, finishing up redoing the recordings for our um, Media Ministry Mentor Live Streaming 101. Um, we're going to be finishing that up as well, too, and just working on some of our basic stuff. Um, be on the lookout for another um, AI video on new tools that have changed like in months that can I really think that a media ministry can benefit from or ministry in general. But let me know down below if you have any other questions with the OC Go um, that you want me to test out and we will do that. We'll probably do them in short form. Um, unless it's something long and drawn out that we need to do it in video. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later. Later.